Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 14 of Project Architect. And I've been kind of busy. Yeah, I've been kind of busy between episodes. Um, first of all, the entangled block. I'd for I I knew it was in here. I'd kind of forgotten it was in here. And then um I believe it was Oh, go away. Um, I believe it was they're so rude, I don't understand. It was um Joshish One who mentioned that what I can do to get the EMC from the power flowers to um my network automatically is to use an EMC link and use the entangled blocks. And basically the entangled block it is it's it's like a wireless transfer thing, right? So you bind the entangled block to the block that you have the thing that you want to take from it. Um and then you attach and then you attach it to the thing you want to put it into. If that makes sense, right? So it's like a, a, a go between. So um I was looking at this my power flowers because right now how I have it set up these these power flowers are producing um emeralds to put into this main power flower and I've changed it now to blocks of emeralds because that goes a lot faster right and that made sense at the time because I wasn't getting a lot of EMC then I went and changed my setup to have a lot of um watches of flowing time and it's now sped up considerably and if you look up in the left hand corner you can see how much EMC has been added to the network any particular time right and then it occurred to me wait a minute why am I doing this I don't need to feed into this one um, energy this one power flower anymore I can have all three of them doing the same thing and I bind them to an entangled block linking to the EMC link and then I get three times as much. I mean, as you can see, I've got over three billion um, EMC. But I mean, you can all you can always do it more EMC. There's nothing wrong with that. And I thought it's a perfect way to show you guys how I set it up because I I was going to do it on camera, and then um, I kind of didn't because I got a bit carried away. Right, I did go playing with the Morning Star and the Qatar. I mean, it is so much fun. I will show you that in a bit. So my backpack's kind of full. Um, so yeah, I've got to empty that out at some point. I did make upgrades for my backpack. So if you remember, I had the advanced magnet upgrade, which made everything, you know, I could attract everything to my backpack, which is fine. Then I did the stack upgrade. And basically it lets you stack more things in your backpack. And there's four layers. Um, let me just show you. Back. There you go. So um, tier one, it doubles the amount of storage that you can fit in a slot by two. So instead of um, 64, for example, you can get um, 128. And instead of 16, you can get um, 32, right? Fine. Then the stack two upgrades by uh, four times tier three upgrades by eight times and tier four upgrades by 16 times so then instead of having one stack 62 i have a hundred one sorry one thousand um just over a thousand in a stack which is awesome it's awesome when you go caving but i also did the void upgrade and a lot of the stuff I'm going to have to um, put into to, to void so I don't pick it all up. Because as you can see, a lot of the stuff that I've got is, you know, soapstone, deep cobblestone, cobblestone, um, scoria. Is it scoria or soria? I'm guessing it's scoria. Scoria, you know, stuff that I'm not necessarily going to use 
I can just put those in the void slot and it will get rid of it. I've already got, I've added it now, added some of them, but then I still have to get rid of what's in my, in my backpack. So that's going to take me a bit of time, but that's okay. Um, I also added the advanced feeding. Why did I take it out? The advanced feeding upgrade. Um, and it's on this. Um, feed as soon as the hungry is. So feed as soon as the player is a tiny bit hungry. Waste quite a few hunger points of the food and feed them play immediately when hurt. So I don't know if it's working or not. I have food in here. I'll see. Um, what else did I do? Uh, we've got this monstrosity over here where um i made the pity black hole tank that is really loud i'm gonna move a little bit made a pit made pity black hole tanks and um i took all the stuff that was in the ground put them in here and i'm just storing all my experience i know there are bigger black hole tanks but then i have to go further into industrial foregoing to make the machine frames and I'm not entirely sure that the machine frames are EMCable. I did make a wireless grid. It was easier than I remembered. Basically, I made the wireless grid with components that we have in our machine, in the storage. And then you need to make a wireless transmitter. You put in the range upgrade so that you can access the wireless grid from all over your, 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 um, your lot. And that's it. And for some reason, not for some reason, I remember. Uh, what? Where am I? I have no idea what just happened. That was a bit weird. Anyway, um, for some reason. Oh, hello. There you go. For some reason, I was convinced I needed a network transmitter, but that's only if I needed to do it across our uh, long distances. But it's only after I finished recording, I suddenly thought, no, wait a minute, you don't need all of that. You just need the, the little cable thing. So yeah, so I made that and what was I looking? Oh yes, the, um, what do you call that thing? Yeah, uh, machine frames. So I think the bigger, yeah, the bigger ones are not EMCable. It's only the pity machine frame, which is, which is okay. I mean, I only, uh, although the tanks are the tanks, EMCable tank. No, they're not. The larger tanks are not EMCable either. So it's kind of like. It would be cool, but I really didn't want to go through all of that for industrial foregoing. But at the moment, I just have this really, <laughs> this monstrosity. And also, I went and put a trash can on the alchemical chest. And because I was getting a lot of um, bows. And what was the other thing that it didn't like? It was bows and something and, and the potions. So I went and whitelisted Potion of Luck and the bow, so it gets rid of those. And all I've got left now is the dimlets. So at one point we're going to get into RF Tools Dimensions, because like I said, I've never done it. And this, um, this energy condenser is also linked with an entangled block up there. So all the emeralds are just coming straight out and into the EMC system. So yeah, let me show you how it's done. So for the other two power flowers, first of all, let's just get rid of, right, I had wanted a pickaxe. I know I can use the morning star, but you know what? I don't want to risk that because that tends to do quite a wide area. Oh, what are we looking for? This pickaxe, my tinker's tools, which I don't use anymore. Oh, there you go. I forgot it has haste on it. Okay, right. 
Um, energy condenser. We could do the antimatter relays. I mean, we have enough that we could. Because you only need one, two, three. You only need four on each. I'll think about it. I don't know. Anyway. And that also means then um, we could put another antimatter relay on front if we really wanted to. But I'm getting sidetracked as usual. Right, we need to get um, entangled. So we need two more entangled blocks. I have the binder here, so I can put one here and one here. And basically, I select the block with I select the block with the um, with the binder. Shift and click. No, that's selecting it. Shift, click, select and then click on the um, entangled block. So now this energy condenser is linked to this um, entangled one. Same again. Shift click, round, and then click. All right. Then I need, um, I need my item pipes item. So that there, that there, and now they'll all contribute to the to the um emc network and then what i can do we want a block of di diamonds a block of see now that's it's come down less there's less going in if you look up in the left hand corner so we need to change that that's going up why is it not oh yes because i have to Suck it out. That makes sense. But anyway, let's get a block of diamonds. Block of emeralds. Open you. Change you. Emeralds. And do the same thing here. Um. Are we? No one. I'm not going to close it up. And then I need my crescent hammer and open those two up. And now my EMC has leaped up. Right? So now, well, it leaped up because it dumped everything in. But now, you know, everything's now going to our EMC link. If we look in here, there's nothing. It will drop it in. And then it will take it over. Same here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it open like this. I don't know. We don't really need it any faster. I mean, we're making, you know, tons of EMC. Okay, so there's that. That was the first thing I had to do. The second thing, looking at my notes. Oh, cool night. Uh, made a comment on one of my videos. Um, he said that you, I should make the EMC apple, no, the honey apple and the EMC steak. And they provide um, good saturation. So, EMC steak, a filling meal. Okay, make a. Can you not make? Can you not make a stack. I oh, know. Hold on. There you go. No, you can't make a stack. That's interesting. Does that never run out? All right, let's stop feeding ourselves for a second. Uh, turn off the automatic feeder. We'll have to make ourselves hungry. And then um, we'll see what happens. Okay, and what was the other thing? Uh, honey apple. I did get some honey. I got um, a honeycomb from a trader. And also, I went clearing trees. Honey apple. Honeyed apple. And honey apple with cyclic. Honeyed apple is... But well, that's create, so that's going to mean... Yeah, there's that. The cyclic one. Okay. Can I get a stack of those? Yes, I can. 
I'll put those in my backpack as well. Um, take you out and we'll put you, put you in, the Rananite. Right, so those are those two things done. I've also, I was always trying to work out what do I want to do for power because I can't keep relying on, um, you know, blocks of alchemical coal because that's just frankly annoying. And we can, you know, we can make, we can hold a lot of stuff in the gargantuan storage and there's not a lot. Is this done? No, it's not done. It's just going up very slowly, I think. Yeah, it's just going up very slowly. So I was wondering, what can I do in terms of power? I know that bigger reactors are in here, but I just want something that um, I just put it together and then leave it and I don't have to worry about it again. All right. I like, you know, stress-free stuff. So I don't know if I want to mess with it. I might try making one just because I can, but I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. But also, um, the power mod, I can make a basic reactor because that's EMCable. The other bigger reactors are not EMCable. And you know me, I don't like, I don't like the grind. So I was thinking what I could do is um, have like a room full of the basic reactors, or maybe not a room at first, probably, you know, four or five and have that feeding into our network and that should be enough power until I see what other options we have and we don't have to worry about it right so then I was there thinking well okay where do I want to put my power room and I was thinking above because if I go down it's going to be in a cave and I'm, I don't want to go in the cave I was thinking above this lot here above our um our little trading hall and so on. And I was thinking, yeah, that, that could work. And also, I can show you how the Morning Star works. It's quite fun. Um, the gem armor, now that I've seen it's nighttime, you might remember it has, um, it had, what do you call it? Step assist and night vision, they were both disabled. I thought it wasn't in the pack, but it just means it wasn't turned on. So I now have night vision and I've got step assist. So there's that. Right, let's see. If we come up here and you right oh why are we now only on a slice? Really? There you go. See that's why I went up quite high because you know, I didn't want it to let it go up a bit. Yeah, I think that's deep enough for a power room. Let's go this way. But yeah, you right click and it just clears a shed load of stuff for you. Which is quite cool. So oh, there's that. I might have to clear this lot out by hand. I don't want to. Why is it only going? To... Oh, it's only going in a three for some reason. And I think I leaned away from the mic and the audio was a bit thing. I've realized that my sitting position affects how it sounds. So I have to remember not to lean back in my chair because if I lean back then my mic goes all funny. So yeah, I apologize for that. Alright, so let's... But yeah, this is going to be the beginning of the power room. I'll have to see if I can work out... is it V? No. Not K, is it? I can't remember what the key bind was and I'm not going to go in and have a look. It's fine. But this is going to be the power room. Right. I'm going to probably put glass on the front, maybe. I don't know. But also, it's night time. That means we can play with the guitar. 
I found the key binds when when I was trying to work out how to get it to do what it was doing. There's a key binding conflict. So once there's a key by conflict, it doesn't work. So I changed it. I think the default is C, but that's also bound to um, Ars Nouveau and open your spellbook to, in, to create mode. So I changed it to Control C. Oh, I didn't see where that landed. Otherwise, we'll go after him. But you change it to um, I change it to Control C. Go down a little bit, and it just knocks down everybody. Insta kill, which is pretty cool. So let's see who else we can find. I'm hearing, I'm hearing um lightning hearing lightning you can't hear lightning i'm hearing thunder but i don't know where these guys are but i we, we i need i need some revenge i mean the boss guys they killed me twice so we need a bit of need a bit of um oh lag um right we need a guy with a backpack are you uh are you who i'm looking for not really why don't these guys give you the backpacks i don't understand i never get any backpacks i'll go away Okay, we've got a couple of guys over here, but that's not who I want. I want I want a I want one of the boss guys. And of course we're not gonna get a boss guy. We're just gonna get That will never get old. Just watching them just kind of like Oh, okay. I have no space. Oh, hello. Do you want to be killed too? How do you get? How do you get that? Remove an affix item from a random monster. Okay, what affix item did I get? It wasn't the leather mag, the leather pants. I don't think I have anything else that was that was there before. The EMC stake was there. The diamond boots, maybe? It must be the diamond boots. Okay, can we find... No. And you know what? I think... Come on, come at me. I thought you were coming at me. Oh, I don't know how come... That happened. Oh, maybe because I killed a fly? Could be. The flies attack zombies. I didn't know that. Um, I bet you now I'm going to go around looking for a stupid boss monster. And they're not going to be around. Ooh, where did that land? Okay, which one of you guys look like you're all beefed up? Is it you? No, you're a Walden thing. Um, yeah, I can't believe I'm actually saying I want to find a monster. But then again, I'm killing them <laughs> without av actually having to do anything. So that's always good. I don't... Oh, go away. Actually, I don't even know what the distance on this thing is. If I go up a little bit higher, no, that's lower. If I go a little bit higher, let's say here. Do they have to be below me? Yeah, that doesn't work. That didn't work, so I have to... Oh, he looked... There he is. There's one. So, question is, do we do the whole kill you from afar? 
Or should we go down and try and one shot him? I don't know. Thomas the Angry. You're not getting much. Oh. Okay. Unlimited power. There you go. You were annoying me. What does unlimited power give me? Over enchant an item to a max. The max. What? What do I have that's over enchanted? Um. I don't know. How did I get that? Was it the iron helmet? Oh, the reinforced iron helmet of latent magic. That's what it was. Okay, cool. So yeah, I got revenge on all those stupid idiot boss monsters. Have I missed out some Oh, of this stuff here? I'm a little closer. Right, so there's that. I have no idea what I just picked up. It looked like it might be a skull. Um, yes. Oh, you know what? Actually, as well. Actually, as well, we can go into the cave. But I'm not going to do that today. Because... That would be unfair, wouldn't it? Where's this ravine? I've been through it because there's torches. And also the Morning Star can do this. It main mines for you. So that's cool. Do I have did it go? I think the iron may have gone into my backpack. I think the iron went into my backpack and I don't need what is that like some kind of sand a oh, raw marble oh we can void that as well uh, void settings there you go right so that was it that's it for today a bit of a short one i've talked well no that's what i always do <laughs> um there wasn't actually very much in terms of gameplay where are we our house is this there wasn't much in terms of game actual gameplay but it was more um explaining things but that's okay that's fine so oh this looks like a heart that's pretty cool <laughs> I didn't plan it that way, but that's pretty cool. But um, sometimes you need just to kind of tidy up things. And also, in case you're wondering if the uh, Watch of Flow in Time really speeds up the, the mob farm, have a look. Get you guys out of the way. And of course, you know, it's not a lot. It's okay. It's fine. And then when you turn it on, all of a sudden, it's like, yep, yeah, let's keep it coming. It's quite fun. Anyway. Um, yeah, so like I said, sometimes you just need to, to, to explain what's going on. And, you know, just have a little bit of a reset. But next episode, we're going to continue with the power room, I think. And setting up my power. Oh, hello. Are they fighting? Oh no, they're in the sunlight. I thought they were fighting each other. Ooh. Why did I... Why did that happen? I killed... Oh, fudge. I killed my villagers. 
Oh no! <laughs> they killed my villagers! I am so sorry! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, in that case... I think we need to have a villager trader. But that might be the next thing to do, rather than, you know, power and whatever. That doesn't go in there, does it? Oh, that's nice. Um, the a Titan Forged? What's that do? Find a Mythic Affix item. Okay. <sighs> well, wow. That was... Because that's a good... That... I didn't think it would affect them because it was a lot higher up than where they were. So there you go. So in the next episode, I guess we're making a villager breeder. Or actually, no, I'll just go and kidnap some more villagers. There's a, there's a supply of them. So <laughs> on that very grim note, <laughs> on that grim note, we're going to, I've got to finish. I'm done. I'm, I'm so done. Next episode. <laughs> We'll be building um, the memorial power room to our poor ten villagers who were, you know, they they didn't see it coming. At least it was painless. We'll, we'll give them that. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.